Okay, I'm here. You want to say hi to the video? No? Advertise your business? Okay. This guy's in my neighborhood. He has a, a laundromat service, or no, a laundry, a dry cleaner service. The only problem. Eh? No, I'm talking to this. You don't want to say anything. What are you talking with? The what camera. Talking with? What are you talking with? The camera. The camera? Yeah. So, so why are you talking with the camera? <laughs> he said, why are you talking with a camera? With camera? It's raining right now. Now, you guys look at the symbol right above me. I'm not going to point, but uh, that's a swastika. <laughs> and he put it on his dry cleaning business because it looked cool. Now, there is, now for everybody that doesn't know, there is a swastika that is, um, in certain cultures, it means something else. Now, you know, it does mean something else. That, 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 a body. But that one didn't, that was a Nazi Germany swastika. Um, he said he knew who Hitler was and then he had a moment like, wait, hold on. Yeah, that is his symbol. And I was like, it's strange because if you guys watch my video, maybe I can put the link somewhere, the card up here. When I went to the orphanage like two days ago, one of the boys was wearing a shirt that had a swastika on it. And, you know, he didn't know what it meant. He was just wearing a shirt with a, with a symbol of Nazi Germany on there. How about it, Dada? Oh, Avipi. Nzima. Asante. Karibu wapi. Ah, I am Nakuja. But no, um, it's strange seeing that somebody just casually slapped that onto his uh, business, onto the logo of his business. It's literally just a, a swastika. And I told him what it meant. You know, I, I asked him, you know what that means? He was like, no. And I said, it's a symbol of hatred and evil for a lot of people. And, you know, I asked him, is this the symbol? Because again, in Hindi culture. Mambo! <laughs> and I asked him if he knew what it meant. And he was like, ah! Yelling over there. My little nephew, one of them. Mambo! <laughs> Mambo! Maravo Jumbo! And I love it, but they walking in the rain head held high. I love that. That is nothing scary about rain. I'm sorry. But, uh, and it is coming down a little. But, uh, yeah, I asked him, do you know what that is? And he was like, uh, no. But then I asked him, is it the, the one in Hindu culture? Because, again, that means, like, peace or something along those lines. I can't say for sure because I don't know. But I do know that the symbol represents something else in another culture. And I asked him if that's the one. He said no. And I said, so it's the German one? And he was like, well, it could be. And I was like, you can't put things on your sign. Because he was asking me, can I patronize his business? And can I, um, you know, bring people there? Which is something I would do, especially in my neighborhood. You know, give a little business advice and skills and things like that. But I said, I can't, I can't until you put a Tanzanian flag over that or something like that and he was like oh I guess I gotta cover it up because it's strange again in two days two symbols oh wow and the rain just started coming down too you get under that tree what done locked man somebody done locked me out my house Hold on one second.